Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Monday, December, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, all right, so we're yesterday was the first day of construction on the barn, so I kind of want to walk you through what they accomplished, what their next steps are, and what we're doing with the barn so you get an idea of uh, of it when it's finished. You have an idea of like, oh, yeah, that does look like what Jacob said the first day, or man, oh, man, that looks absolutely terrible. So first of all, like we mentioned in the previous videos, the barn was going to be over there. Uh, my dog's over there somewhere. There he is. If you zoom in really close, he's on the move. Okay, so the barn was going to be over there. And we decided to move to this spot, which I really like. The problem with this spot, for one thing, is it does make the barn look small. I'm not going to lie. So the barn uh, dimensions, for those of you asking, is 50 by 70, um, which is a pretty large barn, not going to lie. Um, but when you put it amongst all these trees and all this space, which you can't tell because it's so foggy, it makes it look quite small. But it's going to be the perfect size. I'm not too worried about it, especially since... Um, man, sorry. Blech. Especially since we're going to put a lot of concrete pad out in the front of it. So let's walk through it real fast. So yesterday they came in, dropped off a lot of wood, put a bunch of the poles on the ground and also nailed them all together. Tomorrow they're, or today they're coming in, they're laying the concrete foundation on the ground. Um, so that's going to be pretty solid. Um, and they're going to take it from the, I think today is just the concrete foundation. And then, uh, Gonna start putting the sides up, putting the ceilings up, and then the big part of the job is gonna be the insulation. That's gonna take quite a bit of time. So I don't think this thing's gonna be done until January. Even though it's, it looks like they got a lot done yesterday, the longest pole in the tent, for no pun intended, is gonna be the insulation inside the actual building. So uh, anyways, so what we are gonna do is the previous location we had on the other side of the trees, um, pardon me again, is we were gonna have a concrete slab in the front and in the back of the barn so there's gonna be a big old door here okay and then a big old door on the other side across along with the small door there and i think a small door over there somewhere but in the other spot the size of the barn the back of the barn was gonna back up right into the trees and so we weren't gonna have a spot for a, a concrete slab in the back of it because just because the trees were there so we decided to make the concrete slab in the front bigger so I still think we're going to do the concrete slab in the front of this thing bigger because we have like an allowance for concrete. I still think we're going to make the concrete slab in the front bigger, but I think we're actually going to eat some of the costs and I'll show you, I'll kind of tell you where we're going to save some money possibly and put a big old concrete slab in the back of it because there's now space in the back of the barn now and it opens up. And so what I imagine we're going to end up doing is we're going to have a rig inside the barn for sure, obviously. But then we're probably going to have an outdoor rig on the concrete slab in the back because I can't really put a, con a outdoor rig in the concrete slab in the front if Kelly wants to do it as a venue of some nature. Um, it's not going to look really cool if you walk up and you're like, oh, look, it's a rug rig. Um, hey, want to have a wedding here, babe? So uh, we're going to put a uh, rig probably in the back. So I'm going to probably put a concrete slab in the back of it for sure. Um, let's see what else also to know. So one way we're going to probably save money is for the barn – Inside the barn, we're going to put three different rooms. One room is going to be my office. Second room is going to be a bathroom. And the third room is going to be a closet for tables and chairs. But now seeing this laid out and thinking about it more, I think what we're actually going to do is probably not even put an office in this building for me at all. Number one, the office was meant because I can get out of the house, have an office here. I don't have a house in Clown House. We're going to do a Clown House video soon, but I don't have a house. I, mean, I don't have a house. I don't have an office in Clown House. The best way of getting around that was going to be, okay, let's just put it in the in the barn. But looking at the space constraints and thinking about it more, I think we're actually not going to do that. We're going to keep the bathroom in the closet, but we're just not going to do an office. So I can decrease my cost there that I can essentially sink into a concrete pad in the back. And then I can increase my space in this barn by putting the concrete pad out back and putting a, a, a larger rig out there and, and stuff like that. Um, and what that allows me to do is about, you know, this is an obvious statement, but about eight months out of the year, I'm allowed to take people outside here and work out. And so the barn doesn't feel so small if you can go outside in the concrete pad, which is going to be pretty nice. So, uh, let's see what else. So obviously, as we know, the siding is going to be, I believe this is some of the siding over here, actually. And the poles on the sides. Yeah. Actually, that's a door. And I have no idea what that is. Uh, so the sign is going to be white. 
So it's gonna be all white. And the door, which is actually gonna look really cool, because uh, my wife designed this, of course. The door is actually gonna be like um, a bunch of glass panes. I know what you're thinking right now. You're gonna put a glass pane, pane door on a gym. Yes. I know what your also follow-up question is. Do you realize barbells roll? Yes. Your next question is gonna be, how much does that door cost if I break it? A lot. <laughs> So anyways, there's gonna be a really cool door right here. It's gonna be split down the middle It's gonna slide to the left or to the right. It's not gonna swing out or slide together It's gonna slide separately. So that's gonna be really exciting. So anyways, just want to give you guys a kind of a daily update We'll uh, I'll do an update later today or tomorrow depending upon what they get done today But I imagine I'm now looking for my dog because I don't know where he's at. I imagine that it will be um, the erection of the barn will go really quickly it's going to be the stuff on the inside, like I mentioned before, though. It's going to be the, the longer longer stuff to get done. So, um, but anyways, hopefully we'll be in there by January, and I'll be able to hold some camps and seminars and just actually just have a good time with people. Anyways, have a great day, guys. I am really cold, and I will talk to you later. See ya.